11 confirmed coronavirus cases in Nice, but none in WNY2 families from B Buffalo were tested following a recent trip to Italy. Facts, not fear. It's our commitment to you as the coronavirus spreads in the U.S. now with 11 cases confirmed in New York State. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And it's important to note that two things. First of all, none of those cases are here in western New York. And the two families tested here in Buffalo are all clear. Their tests came back negative. That's certainly a relief. But there are still a lot of questions like, what happens when there are confirmed cases here? Two on your side, Dave McKinley is working to get those answers today. Dave? Mary Ellis says we seek to provide you with the available information, though there does seem to be some disagreement among various levels of government about what types of information can be disclosed. We are going to inform the community because we want people to take the appropriate precautions. That includes making clear, for example, under what circumstances someone could be tested or even quarantined. First of all, they have to have uh, a known potential exposure. So either through travel to uh, an area that is designated as, as a high-risk concern by CDC or uh, a known exposure to a COVID-19 case. And then they have to meet the clinical criteria. So they have to have, you know, depending on their type of exposure, you know, varying level of, uh, you know, of respiratory symptoms. But when we asked how many people in Erie County are currently under quarantine, she wouldn't say. I'm not allowed to discuss uh, individual cases. So I'm not asking you to comment on individual cases. You explained you can't do that. What I'm looking for is for you to be able to tell people how many people does that involve right now? Uh, you know, again, I can't discuss individual cases. Um, I don't want to put anybody at risk of having their information disclosed. When we noted Governor Cuomo has not only said there were 1,000 people under quarantine in Westchester County after 11 confirmed cases there, where he revealed the ages, occupations, and towns where the confirmed cases lived, none of which we asked about, the county executive jumped in. The state violated the law. They did. And we've been told that we can't. We've been told that what they did was wrong, and we can't violate ourselves <laughs> because it's. Pro I'm an attorney. Well, so is the governor, though, whose spokesperson issued a statement, reading in part, state and county health departments in New York and around the country have been routinely providing this information. The county executive should correct the record immediately. Late this afternoon, polling cars did. Still, from a practical standpoint, Burstein says the number will fluctuate from day to day, while assuring. We will tell you if um, we do have a positive case, because that's something that you need to know yes. to protect yourself. Poland cars later issued a strong apology for suggesting the state broke the law and conceded it may not be illegal to release aggregate data, the type of which was strictly the type that we had asked about. But he still says Erie County will not be releasing the number of people under quarantine, w quarantine rather, which he only classified as being, quoting now, a relatively. Wednesday afternoon, Cuomo held another news conference to announce that a friend who interacted with the Westchester County man also has a confirmed case of coronavirus. That man's wife, two sons, and a daughter tested positive. A second daughter tested negative. State officials met with Westchester County officials. Lawrence Hospital, where the 50-year-old Westchester man was first treated, is testing eight employees who may have come in contact with the man at the hospital. The Westchester family also attended services at a synagogue, where there was a large number of people in attendance. That synagogue will be closed until March 8. The individuals there will self-quarantine as well. If they have any symptoms, they are also expected to contact a health professional. On Tuesday, New York State officials announced two families from Buffalo were being tested for coronavirus following a recent trip to Italy. This brings the total of confirmed coronavirus, COVID-19, cases to 11 in New York State. The governor also announced SUNY and CUNY students studying abroad from China, Japan, Italy, Iran, and South Korea will be called back to the United States.
the students will come back on a chartered plane to Stewart Airport in Orange County, New York, and be quarantined for 14 days in dormitory settings. First of all they have to have a known potential exposure, Bernstein said. So this would be either through travel to an area designated as a high-risk concern by CDC, or a known exposure to a COVID-19 case. Then they have to meet the clinical criteria depending on their type of exposure and a varying level of respiratory symptoms. How many people are under quarantine in Erie County? Bernstein declined to provide a number. County Executive Mark Pullenkartz also declined, only going so far as to state there are relatively few. People with coronavirus are contagious even during the incubation period, 14 to 24 days. Those infected with the virus might not immediately show any symptoms, so they should wear face masks.